Your ZenKit profile page is where you can customize the ZenKit interface to suit you and your team's needs. To access your profile, click on the profile icon from anywhere inside the app. Click on My Profile. Here you can customize a number of things. To change your name, just click on it and type in a new one. You can do the same for your username and initials. Make sure to use a name that your colleagues will recognize so they can find you in the app later on. To change your profile picture, click on the icon with your initials on it and upload a new image. You can browse for one or just drag an op and drop an image to upload it. Further down the page, you'll see options for date and decimal formats. These change how dates, numbers and calendars are displayed throughout the app. Just choose the settings you prefer. You'll also see a few app integrations. Click Connect to log in with your Trello or Wanderlist account. Doing this makes it easier to import your boards and lists later on. Here, by API key, you can generate a new API key. You can use your API key to connect with other services such as Zapier. Make sure you don't generate a new API after you've already connected to another service, since you'll have to connect again with the new one. You can also choose to sign up to the ZenKit newsletter if you'd like to stay informed about upcoming features and insider tips. Lastly, you can delete your account. This will remove all of your data from ZenKit. If you choose to sign up again, your data cannot be recovered. To change your password, go to the Passwords tab. Type in your old password and a new one to confirm the change. You can also recover a lost password using the I forgot my password link. Under the background tab, you can choose different backgrounds and themes or even upload your own. Backgrounds that you set using your profile are last in the hierarchy. So if you choose no background in collections and teams, you'll see your profile background. Otherwise, the collection background overrides the rest. When you select a preset color, image, or texture, the item style and color will change to match the background. If you choose a theme, a special theme for item style and color will be applied. Here, the grid theme creates a neon text. Lastly, Customs allow you to upload your own background image and choose your own item style and type to match. You can browse for a file using Select File or drag and drop from your clipboard. To edit item style, click Edit. You can choose a theme type, tile type, or whether items are regular or transparent. You can also delete custom backgrounds from here. As you can see, it's really easy to customize ZenKit to match your work style and personality.